So I'm at the airport in Portland right now and I've got a little bit of time to kill. It's also really late at night and so everything's closed. And so I was trying to think, you know what? I've got about an hour to kill. What am I gonna do? And then suddenly I stumble upon this. I'm like, what in the world is going on here? But apparently there's a little theater going on where they're showing short films by local Oregon filmmakers, which is fantastic to support local talent. But uh, let's see what's going on. So they say admission is free, come on in. Uh, but we can read some of this presented by Hollywood Theater, Names of Hollywood District, uh, Blue Madness. Okay, hollywoodtheater.org. Check them out. And let's do what the sign says. And let's come on in. So is the movie not as exciting as you're hoping? <laughs> or, no. uh, it's a good place to take a nap. <laughs> gotcha. And that's what we're all about here at Triad. <laughs> here we go. Security signs. It's a replica of the marquee we built on Sandy. The overall width of the signs close to 30 feet wide, about four feet deep, four feet tall. And it'll be the biggest sign in the airport. Lots of neon on it, lots of lights, so it'll definitely be a, a work of art. Okay, I love the concept. I love what they're trying to do here. So let's see the first movie and let's see what's going on. Um, so far, unfortunately, there are some folks that walked out weren't terribly pleased with it, but maybe they just didn't watch the right movie. So let's check this out. So, just came out of the Hollywood Theater here in uh, Portland International Airport. And, um, I mean, it's a cool concept what they've done here. I think, unfortunately, I'm just not deep enough to understand the uh, artistic expression that's happening in there. But I'm sure it's, uh, I mean, I, I think maybe, I don't know. Like, so the production I just saw was A Sheep at Last. And I'm... I can see that there was a lot of thought and creativity put behind it, but I think I'm just not deep enough to appreciate it, which is not surprising because it's me. And at the same time, I've also only slept like three hours a night for the last week, so maybe there are higher brain functions required that I'm not quite tapping into right now. And the best that I could see sheep at last, there was definitely some sheep in there. Um, but I think, I mean, it almost looked like they're trying to tell a story of rebirth, maybe. Like, there was like, I feel like there was birth and death and all that good stuff. But it's a little lost on me. I don't, like, if anyone has any tips on how to enjoy like these sort of more creative and artistic short films, let me know. I want to say that they might have done some claymation in there as well, too. I don't actually know for sure, but it's, go, yeah. I just watched a movie in there. They're only 10 minutes long. I think, I don't, I don't think I'm deep enough to understand it. Uh, is it good or suck? You tell me. Oh, <laughs> I, okay. I'm not totally sure what happened, but, oh, okay. but yeah. <laughs> but go check it out. Have fun, be well, be safe. Enjoy the video that you're Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, uh, oops, anyhow. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, I, I, I don't I don't know I don't know I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's bad I'm not saying 
I just don't understand it. I, but that's just maybe my limited grasp on reality. So, anyways, uh, let me know. I was thinking though, since I've got at least another 20 minutes to kill and everything's closed because I've got like a red eye out of uh, Portland, let's give you a little tour of at least Terminal C. And they've got a little food court here. I'm just gonna go, I'm going right now the opposite direction of where I need to be. You can see the Hollywood Theater that I was just at. As I said, drop by, catch a flick, bring some snacks, see what's going on, write a review, and let them know what you think of it. But it's a great way for them to support local artists. And uh, here I am running this way. There's Henry's Tavern is open late. Oh no, they've got the chairs up. So just to give you an idea, it is about 11 p.m. local time right now. Uh, my flight's about midnight. So it's got a little bit of time before. But it looks like normally, under normal circumstances, if things, if it wasn't so late, they do have a fair amount of things open. So that's good to know. Unless, of course, this terminal just happens to be one that isn't as well serviced but who knows and there is oh right so yeah I mean there's there's like the regular amount of uh, services that you'd find here it's just that it's obviously really really late at night barely any flights kind of leaving at this hour so there's no reason for any businesses to stay open they gotta get home to their kids which I can fully appreciate there here's another sort of food court like area um, also with the pot belly sandwich people I only recently had them I've, they've been on my radar for a while but they're pretty good so I had their meatball sandwich it was absolutely delicious so I highly recommend that and um, oh this uh, little convenience store here the open really late it's good to know that uh, no matter how late your flight is riches news and gifts has got you covered so there's mod pizza which portland has a lot of pizza places many more than i expected like i know portland is known for their donuts and their beer but i wasn't expecting the fact that they're like a pizza destination which is fantastic i mean there's a they're, they're a foodie destination in general but a lot of good pizza in the city so definitely check out the pizza look at all these lots vino polo is only allowed in the seating area so they've got a wine bar ah there it is which is closed but when it is open, you can drink wine in there and also out here. 